this video is to explain how you can refresh the form data based on a drop down selection change. In this example, I'm going to create a supplier form where it will display all the company names in a drop down and if you select a company name or attributes of that supplier will be auto populated. Let us start designing the form. First of all, I'm just going to make few changes to this uh, grid layout so that I have the columns where I can place the controls. Now, in the first row, I want a title, so I'm going to merge these three cells by selecting the selector cell style in the properties uh, window and I'll just change the column span to 3. Now I have merged all these three columns so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a label control here and then I'm going to change the width to 550 font now let's start placing the other controls so I have a compo box the rest are uh, text boxes Now let's start formatting the controls. Now let me just fast forward and continue after I give the proper appropriate names for these controls and labels. Now let's start with the combo box. I'm going to configure this to a Northwind uh, database. Select MS SQL, click OK. Northwind next there's a table for suppliers supplier ID will be the value member company name will be the display member this will be sorted based on the company name so now the company name will be auto populated on the form load so I can click on the preview to check if it's working fine so you can see that the drop down values are coming fine but when I select a drop down it's not refreshing the data so to continue with the second functionality to populate the values in these controls I'm going to create a form data source so the form data source options can be available is available on the left uh, so once you select the data source uh, tab here you can create a new data source so here I can give a name
So I've given it a name called DS Suppliers for the data source and its SQL Server. Okay. Northwind. Same suppliers table. And here I can create a command. So you can create a select, insert, update and delete command. So in our example we are going to create a select command. Now I have to read, these are the columns in the table, I have to read these values to these controls. So the contact name goes to txt contact name, contact title, address, city, I have not created uh, controls for fax and home that's fine I'm just going to skip these two columns Click next the criteria would be to filter the value based on the supply ID selected in the combo box company name now this select command has to be executed every time I s uh, make a selection in the combo box company name so I've selected a CMB company name as a trigger and I'm going to finish this. I've saved the form. Now we have completed the functionality. If I go to the preview, I can select any drop-down value and it's going to refresh the data. 